if you uh, have gone and voted, you've noticed that it is a long ballot, uh, a lot of choices to make, uh, not necessarily a lot of competitive uh, races uh, that are out there. You, you, you look at it, a lot of Republicans are going to pretty much sweep, at least out here they're going to be sweeping, I would assume. Uh, but then you get to the end of the ballot, and there is a race for Buffalo Springs Lake, an at-large position that um, just about everybody, uh, Lubbock County-wise, is going to uh, be seen and joining me in studio. Uh, one of the candidates up for re-election uh, in that one at the at-large position. Uh, Tom Kiesling, thanks for stopping by this morning. Well, thanks for having me, Chad. Absolutely. Uh, first, tell people a little bit about yourself uh, and, uh, and, and the race that you're in right now. Well, I'm pretty much a Lubbock boy. I've been here since I was seven years old. Uh was in business in Lubbock for all my life. Uh, originally started for some of the old timers. I had uh, Vans Catering Service in the Coco Palace over 50th and Q that was Danny's Fins and Heads. I sold out to them back in the 80s and then went in the automotive equipment business here in Lubbock and also had a office in San Antonio, Texas. And fortunately in 2007, I was able to sell my business and I've been retired ever since. So uh, my wife, uh, she was a Lubbock police officer, and of dumb luck, she she retired in February of 07. I sold my business in May, and we've been enjoying life ever since. It's uh, one reason I, being retired, I was, you know, kind of want to give a little bit back to the county and the city and stuff, and uh, back in 2012, I ran for the board at Buffalo and got on it, and it's been a great experience. Uh, you know, it's kind of like having another little business that you're getting to build and make better. Right. Uh, I'm up for re-election, and as in any kind of city, county, government, it, it takes a long time to get things done. Uh, we've made a lot of improvements out at the lake uh, since I've been on the board. We've, uh, you know, built us some new restroom facilities. We've redone our crappie house, uh, oh, picnic tables, just, you know, a lot of little things. We built a new campground. Uh mm -hmm. We, but there's some other things that I want to do, and it just it's it's a slow process. It just takes some time to do it. So, hopefully, in another four years, I can get to point and look back and say, "Hey, we got that down, and things are good." What, what, what is your vision for Buffalo Springs Lake, uh, and and what you would like to see done? Well, our main venue is camping, obviously, and and we we've uh, redone since in the last four years. We've run, redone one of our campgrounds. Uh, right before I got on the board, they had built a new one. And then we have recently completed another campground. That that's where we make our money. Now the, the lake is self supporting. The county does not fund us in any form or fashion. We we're, we have our own water department, roads. We maintain the whole deal. So to do that, you've got to have income, and our income is through our gate income, and our camping income is tremendous. Uh, the, you can go at, we've we've had times this summer where we're just sold out so we've since put in some new campgrounds and and you know you just got to look to return on investment you know hey it's going to cost x to put these in how long is it going to take us to pay for them and it doesn't take long uh what i want to you know we've got that done and my vision's kind of in the next four years is to enhance our campgrounds a little we need a little more infrastructure and roads in them, uh, picnic tables, grow some grass, trees. You know, they're, they're just, you know, it's all little things, but right. that's a big thing. Uh, yeah. Another thing I'm a proponent on, and we've actually approved it through our board, we just haven't started on it, is a new front entrance or front gate. We, if you've been out to Buffalo, you know if you drive in the front gate, the the person that takes your money is on the right hand side of the car, yeah. Which you know they're sticking a pole out through the window, and it's just not efficient. And then on our big weekends, it's it's hard to get people in there. So, you know, that's one of my big deals. Let's get a new gate built, be more efficient. And two, you know, your first appearance. Uh, when I was a kid going out to Buffalo Lake, I could care less what the front gate looked like. But I can promise you, my grandkids now pay attention to that stuff because of the. You know, social media, I guess, and they're, you know, they're, they've got a lot more now. My grandkids yeah. are kind of, well, they are spoiled when they come with me, <laughs> <laughs> but but they expect, you know, they expect something to look good. I mean, they're a little sure. more than when we were kids. You know, you just want to go out and kick go out dirt. To the lake. But but nowadays these kids notice stuff like that, and I think we need to build for the future. 
and get that first impression as you come through that front gate of what you're getting ready to experience. You know what what you're talking about. You know is you know more you know uh, more camping you know more campgrounds uh, more things that uh, would appeal to campers. Uh, when we've had some of your opponents on, and one of your opponents, I guess, yesterday was talking more entertainment. Uh, is is that stuff, is more entertainment type of things needed out at Buffalo Springs Lake? Is, you know, is can you do both at the same time? Or is, you know, is it, you know, the priority uh, towards campgrounds than entertainment? Well, like I said, I mean, camping is our main business. Uh, entertainment venues bring campers and people into the lake and we've had uh we have a uh promotions director at the lake and she does a very good job of bringing in different bands and venues to we have an little outdoor stage out there and uh we have a, another outdoor stage by our marina down there uh, that that helps but you know you we're not we're more into camping and and picnicking business but the entertainment it does go hand in hand now Hey, I'd love to see big venues out there, you know, name entertainers and stuff. The problem about that is, is you know, it's got to pay for itself. And to do those promotions, and, and we're working on some of that now, is, you know, to have an underwriter or partner with, you know, somebody in the community that, hey, we want to bring this band out, maybe KFYO, you know, y'all bring the band out, and and we'll get some gate income for it. And, you know, if it, if it rains or something, you know, the weather weather issues we're we're not having all the exposure that's right. that's where i'm at with more on entertainment is we've got to limit our exposure because we we run on a pretty tight budget and you just can't put yourself in that position you know we used to have the boat races at buffalo yeah love the boat races i mean golly it was a great venue problem is we didn't make any money we lost money the last couple of races and i just in my right mind just because everybody loves it us fund the deal to lose money. I mean, you've got to make some money. You know, San Angelo's a prime example. They have a great boat race down there, but the Chamber of Commerce backs that deal. So, and we're we're looking at that too. I've had, I've visited with our, our promotions director about that the other day. Like, hey, call up the Lucas Oil people that got these boat races. I mean, call down San Angelo and get some ideas how we can make this thing profitable. Get somebody to to help us with the deal. Well, when people are going to the polls, they're going to be voting in, in this race last. It's the last one on the ballot. Yes. Uh, tell folks uh, in hearing about uh, a minute or so why they need to, or why they should vote for you over uh, everyone else who's running for that at large position. What separates you from everyone else? Well, I think what separates me is I, I've got four years of experience on this deal and it, it took a while to kind of learn the nuts and bolts of the thing. I, I, I've got a vision of what we need to do. Uh, I've, you know, I've been a business person. We, our lake is in the best financial position it's ever been in, and I attribute that since I've been on the board. Uh, you know, and I, I'm just out there for the good of lake. I don't have any agendas to do anything. I just, you know, let's let's make this lake better and make, you know, it's kind of fun just to build the business. It's kind of like building another business that I did very well over my lifetime. So great. But if you vote, just make sure you get to the bottom of the ballot. Either take that little wheel and keep spinning it till you get to the end. <laughs> Or when you get, if you hit the cast ballot for by mistake, it should come up with a summary page, or it does come up a summary page, and it'll give you an opportunity to get to our race down there. And that's if till you see the American flag on the screen, you hadn't finished voting yet. Yep. All right, uh, Tom Kiesling, uh running for uh, Buffalo Springs Lake Board re-election at large uh, position. Appreciate you stopping by today. Thanks, Dan.